All right, guys, I'm gonna be reviewing my results for 2022. This is the stuff I played for one, two, and one, three games. I played all over Texas because I did the Texas Poker Tour, but most of it was just done locally here in San Antonio. So SA Card House, Rounders, Poker Palace, and Alamo, a couple of home games. Yeah, just gonna go through some of my results real quick. So my net result is 37,326 bucks. This is just like my total net earnings. Uh, my net hourly is $91.91, as you can see right here. The way that I calculate it is my daily fees and my hourly seat rental, which is 10 bucks an hour for most card houses, 12 bucks an hour at Rounders. I just count that as towards my buy-ins or just my expenses. 153 sessions as the number of sessions, as you can see here. And the average duration is two hours and 39 minutes. I like to play shorter sessions, you know, anywhere from two and a half to four hour sessions. And that's mostly because I just, I find that I play my optimal for the first three or four hours. And after four hours, I can very easily kind of Plus I'm a really busy guy. I would rather do two, three hour sessions a day than one six hour session. And I just find that I my earnings are better and I also just play a little more optimal, a little more fresh, a little more excited for the game. Duration of play, 406 hours and seven minutes. I wanna get up to a thousand hours at least, uh, but 400 hours is generally about where you can start realistically knowing where you're at. And I've fluctuated anywhere from 75 up to 125 bucks an hour. And uh, most of my buddies that are about my level, like we, we all hover around the 85 to hundred dollars an hour so we're all about right there yeah starting on sunday on the 6th if you look down here i just literally tracked my sessions i buy in for 400 bucks uh, here i cashed out 569 here three to three and a half hours i lost bought in for 740 cashed out 322 I, I went on a really good little i mean i lost a little bit at first but i went on a nice little run like here i played for five hours and five minutes i bought in for 1180 as you can see these games are big like these one two one three games i was in for 1180 and i cashed out 3355 bucks way bigger than than your average one, two, one, three games. But if you look here, like um, on Wednesday the 16th, it's only two and a half hours, 17th, two hours and 43 minutes. I went and did another hour later on. These are all two or three, four hour sessions. And so I do have some red. I, I just went on a really good winning streak at, at the beginning. You know, I had like this one, I played for seven hours. I was in for 2,500 bucks. I freaking just got stuck, you know, and I lost over a thousand bucks in that one session, seven hours. In poker, like you have to know, like you're gonna be losing quite a bit. So, um, I mean, look at this, the 20th, I lost over $2,000 in one session. Like I bought in for 2180 and I cashed out zero. I just got felted and left. Just wanting to show realistically what these numbers are. If you look, a lot of these are red. Like I don't always win. Yeah, so September I made $4,449, as you can see right here. Then we started in October, played like almost every day. I made $14,297. So October is where really where I put in a lot of my volume. I just consistently was winning 400 to 1,000 bucks. Boom, 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 you know, over and over again. Yeah, in November I got smashed like this session here. I was in for 6,100 and I only cashed out 3,000. But yeah, I mean, if you keep, if you look through all these numbers, um, you can see by December I made just under 7,000, but today's the 27th. So I should probably go play just, just to hit the 8,000. Yeah, November, look, I made negative $120. I didn't even make positive in November. I just wanted to go through and actually let you guys see like literally what I do. So whenever I track my results, so what I literally do is I, I usually put the location, but um, I'll do the date and time. I do my buy-in and I usually count it. So you notice it's 2520. Um, that's because because I usually make a $20 deposit for time. I, this is a rounder. So I'll put five bucks for the fee and then 15 bucks towards time. So I was in for uh, not 2,500, but 2,520. Yeah, so I just count that towards my buy-ins. That's how I go. Boom, one, two, one, three games. Uh, starting next year, 2023, especially because I'm moving to Utah, I found some, some private games and I'm really looking to start bumping up in stakes. I wanted to beat the game, the one, two, and one, three games consistently. And I, I've beat it for a few years, but um, I've never like consistently just tracked my hours, like to find out what I'm making per hour. I wanted to get these results so I can show you guys. And this is just what's working for me. If the things I'm telling you guys doesn't work for you, that's okay. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm just on my poker journey and I'm just wanting to help you guys because I didn't really know a lot about poker four years ago. Going from knowing zero to like studying a lot, like a bunch of stuff and learning from my friends. And it's there's me and about 10 of us and we all just network together and we talk strategy and I'm not even the highest earner. And a lot of my friends, they don't really want me to tell people their earnings, but um, a lot of them are in the Discord group. You should get in the Discord group because if anybody's in green in that, they make at least 65 bucks an hour. And there's a lot of people in there that are just crushers. I'm not doing this to show off. I'm just doing this to show where I've gone through in my journey. I think in the higher stakes, I haven't played a lot of these games. I don't even know if I'm a winning player, to be honest, because I've only played a few and I've won big sometimes and I've lost big next year as I'm gonna slow down a lot on the lower stakes. And I'm actually going to be studying quite a bit and bump up 510 or bigger. Share this with people and ask me questions if it helps you guys at all. I'm just literally just trying to build a community and help people learn. So. Um, I got your back if you're trying to get better. All right, peace, boom.